Okay. I think we're good. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Hello. <laughs> well, welcome uh, back to Make Aquarium. Uh, why is the cameras being a little bit weird? But it's fine. Uh -oh. Um. So, oh, I hit resume. I think I meant to hit load, but so I could actually see. Oh. But I mean, this is what this looks correct. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be correct. Yeah. Uh, I was just like, what are we? What are we doing here? What are we doing? <laughs> what are we up to? We got to reach rank eleven. Uh, yeah, I guess. Also, I, my slider is on my volume is not working, so I need to mm -hmm. adjust the game volume. Hello, Octasco. Uh, yeah, hello. Um, where's my volume mixer? I don't normally have to manually use this because the slider on my headset's really good. Uh, okay. That is probably good enough. Let me know. Oh, I can probably turn on the stream the audio up Ooh. for things. Um, let Dream of dials. Know how that is. I had the uh, the game volume on the stream turned down very low, and also the Discord call volume turned down uh, slightly lower than me because uh, the last stream that I did was with Fiona. Uh, <laughs> uh, I can I can just I can just try and match Fiona. Oh, that's that's uh, that's not necessary. <laughs> Are you uh, sure? I've had a lot of practice at shouting this week. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 hello, Frampus. How do you determine when it's the end of this game? Uh, there are a series of it tells missions us. with objectives. Yes. So our current objective on this mission or level, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what the game calls it. Because um, they're not really, they're not scenario? missions. That, that's, yeah, it might be scenario. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember. Remember yeah, your abyssal collection. Such a, a, you know, military term, obviously, that that is in video games. Yeah, you've been playing uh, uh, um, too much Command and Conquer. <laughs> I haven't played any kind of conquer in a long, uh, you know, a few years, I guess. I just meant in your life. That's true. Uh, I have played too much Panic Conquer in my life. I, I would not dispute that. <laughs> uh, more Panic Conquer than anyone should play. Uh, but now I'm an expert, I guess. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I because I, I think we're on the second to last scenario of the uh, of the. Yeah. Okay. Expansion pack. Uh, and we're on basically the final um, objective, which is just gain a bunch of prestige. Uh, yeah, because we need to probably build more stuff. Um, is everything... Yeah, think, what have we got? I think everything was going well in terms Everything's of... Everything's pretty I, good, yeah. I, I okay. think we had solved our problems. And... Uh, do you have a... Okay, they got it. Whatever that was. Command the fish to attack. Mm. Like you can... No, that's actually not true. I was going to say you can do that. Kind of arc. That's not true, because there are dolphins and squids, neither of which are fish. Uh... <laughs> There are there are aquatic animals you can you can give commands to. Ah, uh, squid fish. No. They're uh, uh, they're mollusks. Cephalopods. Yeah. Well, yeah, cephalopods. Yeah. Are uh, those a type of fish? No, I mean they're not. They're invertebrates. Hmm. Fish is a very broad category. It, but it does only include. Vertebrates. <laughs> like, even... yeah, I didn't know it was that funny. Uh... I was asking, why can't you spell 
my name. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? You've seen my name written down! Oh, yeah, that is what I like. Uh, is, hi, Mary. Thank you. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> hi, Mary. <laughs> like, even in the sort of uh, modern, like, uh, what, do, what do you call this? Like, the. Uh, is is this calidistic? I don't I don't know I don't actually know the, the taxonomic terms, but like in the sort of like well everything above this is a fish because it comes out of fish. Mm. They're still not fish because they're they're they, they diverge <laughs> before the fish. Okay, yeah. just checking. Yeah. So I'm like I I. I now you're like I have no, you have me questioning myself. I'm like I'm pretty sure I like I remember my Our taxonomy. Dolphins fish. Uh, well, no, I mean, tr you know, but again, <laughs> by, you I, said they have to be vertebrates, and dolphins are vertebrates. Right. Like I think that that's the, where like if you include everything that evolves out of fish into fish, which I think there are certain modern taxonomic understandings that have that, then they would be because like we would be fish. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, taxonomy, I mean, it's a social construct, Mary, you know, it's, it's a thing we use to organize information about the world. It's... I think all animals are the same amount of related to each other. Well, that's, uh, I guess that's a position <laughs> you could hold. Uh, I don't think that's a very useful position. Uh, <laughs> for uh, biologists, but you know, we're not biologists, so like... Yeah, I'm not a biologist! It doesn't really affect <laughs> us. Uh, I, can, I can think whatever I want about animals. Oh yeah, Mary, uh, it's very funny to like look at the, like, the way that, you know, in, in I assume this is still true of like, uh, primary schools and stuff, uh, where you get, uh, you know, up Mammal, to like high school. Uh, animals that have this, this, and this. Right, yeah, you get these very clear, like, there are the domains, and then there's the kingdoms. I don't even know if we had domains when I was a kid. Uh, but the kingdoms, and then the, you know, I don't um, remember, I don't remember the acronym for, but there was an acronym for, like, the different layers, right? Like, the order, mm -hmm. and the family, and the genus, and the species, and all this shit. It's like, none of that tracks because it turns out of course the more detail you apply like those levels do not def like animals do not or living things do not mm. break down into like the same number of levels <laughs> for, for <laughs> yeah. like like category differentiation it turns out doesn't work the same way across all living things uh so even with your own new uh yeah, even if like you're you're trying to build uh, a system, like it doesn't. The the more detail you put into it, of course it doesn't work. But that's just like it's map territory shit, you know. Uh, I don't know if people know what I mean when I say that, but it is. Sorry, I got slightly distracted because um, someone texted me saying everyone was leaving the house, uh, and I had to remind them that one of my housemates is on tag and needs to be in the mm. house by midnight uh -huh. <laughs> i was like don't please don't go to liverpool right now because you, you... <laughs> yeah what time is it there <laughs> it's at half 10 okay, uh, okay. So, yeah someone someone someone's having an emergency and they were gonna go help um uh, uh, but i was yeah. i was like don't take it don't... no 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 <laughs> she she has to be at home mm -hmm. Whew. Um, so the uh, vice chancellor of my university emailed everyone in the university about me this week. <laughs> I have heard about this, but for the sake of yeah, yeah if you want to talk about it. If you want to explain I this like to chat. Everyone else might <laughs> <laughs> hear the story. Uh, uh, I'd, I, I would, I'd like, I'd like guesses. I'd like guesses about <laughs> why, why she emailed everyone about me. Should not take many guesses. No. Uh, 
No, the opposite of that. Frampus is um, extremely off base. <laughs> 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 Uh, right. We should get some seahorses. You know, yeah, let's get some seahorses. Tank on their own because they have to be able to take. Yeah, on their yeah, own. yeah. Um, oh yeah. It's a so little they just need tank. like twelve. I, there's no anything really. I guess they do need two heights, so we couldn't put them in a really tiny tank anyway. But like, mm. we don't have super tiny tanks. I'm just kind of yeah, a... I liked it when we had tiny I don't know tanks. Why? I guess this. I mean, this, this is very fine, I guess. big. This is pretty tiny. Like... Yeah. Um, I did say something rude, yeah. But I was correct. It's important to be correct when you're rude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a true statement. <laughs> we could shuffle those toilets up a bit. Yeah, I mean, I'm yeah trying to figure out how to uh, sort of move some of this stuff around still have the toilets because I think we do need them. Uh... <laughs> um, so I'll, 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 I'll tell you what the email said. Um, where's it gone? I, I sent you the email, didn't I? Uh, you yeah, did, there it is. yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, she had her annual visit to the School of Health Sciences to uh, so that students could ask her questions. Um, students in the School of Health Sciences said that their feedback was listened to and they felt supported. They do face problems with accommodation since many of them are on programs that run well beyond the standard academic year. International students felt welcome. One student was very angry about what she saw as the university's relations with Israel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she also emailed my supervisor to complain about me <laughs> I got an email from my supervisor being like can I call you <laughs> and I was like oh shit I'm getting kicked off my PhD um, and then she was like and my supervisor was just like you okay uh, I got an email from Nancy Rothwell's office and I was God. like, <laughs> so like this was just in the context of like her kind of going around like, doing... yeah. So at the moment she's doing an annual visit to each of the schools in the university, um, where people can come and ask her questions. Um, and my question was, uh, do you deny that there's a genocide happening, or do you just not care? Um. <laughs> And then spent like 10 minutes arguing with her and told her that she wasn't fit to hold the position that she was in. Um, and she, apparently she didn't like that very much and uh, <laughs> emailed my supervisor to complain about it. Um, and they said at the start of the meeting that it was confidential and we could say anything we want and it wouldn't get back to the staff in our school. So um, I feel like she lied to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, because yeah, that was giving you our question is like... Um... Were you, oh, like... I introduced myself at the start. Oh, you did. Okay. That, yeah. That's what I, I was, like, I was wondering. It's I'm like, Darcy. I'm a divisional rep like... in informatics, imaging, and data science. I, I have a question. Okay. <laughs> I see. Well, okay. I mean, obviously, that's still fucked, but <laughs> that does answer that question. <laughs> of, like, how did she know who it yes. was? Yeah, yeah. This is like, I mean, obviously I can imagine her figuring it out. Uh, it, yeah. I assume it wouldn't be difficult, but uh, I, I was curious. Um, yeah, that was, she knew because I told her. <laughs> Impressed she remembered. Uh, but there was someone else there taking notes. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Yeah. I, I assume that she did not personally uh, figure out who my supervisor was. She was probably uh, like, "Could you find out who that horrible well, yeah, supervisor yeah, is and sure. email them and get right. them in shit? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, luckily my supervisor is really nice <laughs> and likes me. Um, I'm I'm very helpful and polite in meetings normally, so I think that's that why I've got yeah. away with it. <laughs>
uh, I was considering um, sending someone an, e an email to be like, hi, uh, in Nancy Ruffwell's president's message, um, she actually misgendered me. Um, could you send a follow-up email explaining that the very angry student uses they them pronouns? <laughs> 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 but, <laughs> but I feel like that's not necessarily the, the best uh, <laughs> tactical maneuver. You know. But it would be really funny. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's certainly true. Uh, why? <laughs> Frampus says don't oh say God, anything it's, else. It's super chill. I... Wow. Uh, uh, super chill. No, it. I, I put a large chiller on it. Oh, you super accidentally chilled super chilled it. <laughs> the seahorse were like, "Ooh, I'm so chilly." <laughs> it's like I just put one chiller on here. Like, oh, sorry, I need I need to get the tiny chiller. The tank's so small. No, we the didn't horses freeze them to death we because they were uh... they were only cold for a, a non-existent period yeah, the of time. Paused. Yay! Look at that nice little tank. Okay. They're having a great time. So that will get us more prestige. We can. Is this a? Oh, Ooh. yep. <laughs> let me uh, let me help you out, there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. He was like, ooh, a little platform for me to go look at the fishies. <laughs> he's had negative thoughts, though. Oh, no, he's had so many head negative thoughts. Shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't <laughs> be hidden somewhere out of the way. Why can I see this here? Don't you want to look at the little tub of shrimps? Some people don't want to see the little tub of shrimps. What are y'all Someone... gonna stream after fishy game as Frampus? Mmm. I know that you Great have suggested question. multiple games, and I've realized I probably should have wrote them down because our <laughs> message history gets deleted. <laughs> yeah, they're gone now. You I, can't I was find like, oh, anymore. I can just scroll up. I'm like, oh wait, no, no, I can't. Uh, <laughs> shit. I have, I have all of my conversations set to disappearing messages yeah, after one week. Like, so uh, if I said something to you more than a week ago, that's gone. <laughs> I probably could put it on a month, to be fair. That's fine. I, I just need to remember to write stuff down if it comes up like that. Um, like, if, if neither of us can remember it, it wasn't that good of an idea. There's so many things that I don't remember. Yeah. Then they're probably yeah, not Yeah, see, important. exactly, Octasco. If the police want to know what games I've been suggesting to Seawolf, they've got no chance. That's right. Um, we could play The Sims. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I've been playing recently. This isn't a suggestion for a game we should play. Uh, Knights of the Old Republic. Okay, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't play that, but that's uh, that is interesting <laughs> that you've been playing it. Uh, yeah. Tell me about I was, that. I was listening... I was listening to the, the More Civilized Age yeah, podcast. Yeah. Um, We're not playing like JFK, JFK Reloaded. JFK Reloaded is no longer on the Twitch ban list. <laughs> Why? I don't what? know where that comes from. <laughs> We're not playing JFK Reloaded. Well, I don't know what that game is. JFK Reloaded was like a stunt game from like... God, when was that from? The early 2000s? The, the like mid... No, it would have been like the late two thousands or something, right? Uh, it's it's a game. It's just a like. I don't think it's very long. It's like a you know very short game about playing Lee Harvey Oswald and, and shooting JFK. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kotor is interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's kind of racist. Y yeah. Um. Jedi are bullshit. 
Yes. Um, Have you played uh, Coder before? No. Okay, okay. Have no, you listened I've... to all the, the AMCA stuff on it? No, I've been listening to it as I play it. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so how how so far are you in the game? I've, I've done Taurus. Okay. Um, I've done um, the like turning into a Jedi bit on Dantooine. Mm -hmm. I've done Tatooine. Um, learned all about the sand people. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, uh, yeah. And then I went to Kashyyyk. I had and... completely forgotten about that stuff on on Tatooine from because I played Coder like I mean once maybe twice, but it was a long time ago. You know, like it, it's mm. not a game that stuck with me in the way like I really like Coder Two. I've played Coder Two a bunch. Um, I have played it fairly recently in the past couple of years. Uh, but Coder One, very little memory of for me uh, beyond the. I think stuff. we want to level up Fixing on this person. Uh, wait, what? Sorry. Or do we? Do we want to level up Fixing? Uh, sure. Seems right. Um, yeah, no, I've never played it before. Um, Kashyyyk is fucked up. Yeah. I mean, everything to do with the Wookiee... I mean, this is, you know, just true of any culture in Star Wars that is, like... Yeah. In, in some ways, like, a, a, a sort of caricature or representation of, like, marginalized or colonial... Uh, like colonized mm. peoples, like it, it's all fucked. It's all, you know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Frampus. I. I also heard you can ruin your character and make them so bad you can't beat the game. My character is great and very powerful and is fucking everyone up no problem. Um. It's just an old RPG, Frampus. Like that's yeah. just how old RPGs work. Hmm. There's no respecking, and some some character options are just bad. <laughs> like, yeah. Why is there a uh, bench but in the middle? You of can the... play Pazark for long enough to buy some really good equipment to make yeah. up for bad character choices. Yes. Um, there's a guy on a little space station near Yavin that you can bet 750 credits ago. Mm -hmm. Um, which is like. And a med pack, a good med pack is like 80 credits. Um, like, the the sort of really super expensive best piece of armor is 22,000 credits. So like, 750 credits ago is pretty good. Uh, so I've just been saving, playing one game of Pazark, and then reloading if I lose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember doing uh, this as a kid. And I don't really need the money because I've picked up a lot of stuff and sold it. Uh, and I have like... 15,000 credits just on hand um my housemate was I was like sitting there playing Pazak and he's like why are you playing Pazak you've got so much money um you know but you, you know Sometimes I wanted to buy a bunch of med Pazak. packs yeah I needed the money for med packs I did buy a really cool sword for one of my guys Um, there are a lot of swords but, in that game. Mm, yeah. I've got so many lightsabers. I mm -hmm. keep picking up lightsabers. And there's not uh, a lot of people that can use them. Yes. I, and they sell for like a decent amount of money to the Yavin space station. Um, so I've just been like killing a bunch of dark Jedi, picking up all their lightsabers, and then like flying back to Yavin and selling them. Um, and Aelo was like, aren't lightsabers like a sacred sort of part of Jedi culture? It's fine. It's, yeah, it's fine. They're You're dark. not a they're, real they're... Jedi. Yeah. But they gave me like a week of training. What do they expect? Is dark Jedi a different thing from the Sith? Yes yeah. and no. <laughs> uh, I mean, yes. Theoretic... But... Theoretically, yes, but v v almost exclusively in the actual events that happen in the fiction, no. Right, like, 
theoretically, there is a Sith tradition in the same way that the Jedi are Force tradition, or like the mm. Witches of Dathomir are Force tradition. Like there are theoretically the Knight, distinct... the Knight Sisters. Yeah, the Knight Sisters. Yeah. yeah, there are theoretically, you know, all these different uh, distinct Force for, traditions, for... and and Sith but in is practice, one of them. it's it's Jedi light side. And then well, if you're yeah, evil Sif. Right. In practice, one, the, the Jedi consider everyone who's not them to be the Sith, basically. Uh, and two, yeah. in practice, the actual, like, Sith that show... Like, the, the Sith are functionally a heretical sect of Jedi. Like, they are yeah. exclusively pretty much come out of the Jedi... Uh, like, yeah. Jedi splinter groups. Outside of, like, a few early things in that are not part of most of the like not in mm. the original films uh like sorry the only times when the sith are not jedi is like stuff that's like in old comics or uh mm. in i guess like the republic in... like the old republic mmo has different sith yeah in in, uh... in kotor there's like some of the like loading because there's little bits of like fiction stuff in the yeah, loading yeah. screens right and some of that is like there used to be there used comics. to be a sith planet and then mm -hmm. some like jedi went and lived on dark jedi went and lived on the sith planet and they like yeah. over time became one and that's where the sith came from but the two actual like big sith ad guys are jedi who left yeah yeah who were like they they were they grew up in the jedi tradition and they left and became sith it's not like people from the sith planet yeah, it's, yeah. It's they Jedi were not that brought up, they're, and, and they're yeah. not people who went and found a Sith guy to train them in the ways of the Sith. They no, just they Jedi, Jedi who Jedi became who evil, <laughs> yeah. quote unquote. Uh, like, yeah. And also, you get uh, dark side points for killing slavers. So there's some some procedural, certainly some procedural rhetoric going on in that game. At one I point, do I like, just uh, kill a bunch you're... of slavers. <laughs> yeah. I'm playing. I'm playing a light side character, and I'm like trying to lean into getting as many light side points as possible because it makes your force powers cheaper yes. if yeah. you're like yeah. very light sided <laughs> or very dark sided. It has a direct mechanical effect. <laughs> it has a direct mechanical effect. So I've been trying to stick to doing the light side thing, but there was one where there was like some of these slavers standing over a dead Wookiee and I was like, no, I am gonna have to kill you guys. Like <laughs> you you <laughs> you are going to die now. <laughs> but there were some other ones who are like deep down in the forest. Um being shitty little guys. Uh, and initially I killed them and then the grey Jedi that you meet in the forest was like, well now they're just gonna retaliate against the Wookiees. Oh sure. Um yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, I reloaded and did the light side option where you like destroy their equipment and they get chased out of the forest by a big monster. And it was pretty good seeing them getting chased out of the forest by a big monster. I did, I did like that. So <laughs> I was, I was okay with that. I'm choosing to believe that it ate them off screen. <laughs> In the uh, uh, there's a new uh, Shelled by Genre episode today that I was listening to earlier, uh, and there Ooh, is a moment. Listen to it yet? Uh, well, I will uh, spoil a, a small joke oh, for yeah, you. Oh yeah, go ahead. There, there is a moment where, uh, yeah, Austin brings up Jolie Bindo uh, as a comparison point to something, and, and Cameron's like, I, you know, like, I don't know what you're talking about, and, and Austin's like, you don't know who Jolie Bindo is? Cameron's just like, <laughs> no, I don't know who Jolie Bindo is! Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> of course we've I been, know. We've been watching, we've been watching <laughs> Rebels. Um, so there's there's um, there's three of us who live in my house, um, and me and Alo met via a friends at the table Discord server. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> so, have, I told, probably, have I told you about I probably how me and Alo knew met? That, but I don't remember yeah, this. Like but... two like two weeks into oh. lockdown, um, I was really fucking bored because I wasn't doing any socializing. So I joined this friends at the table role play, like one shot role play, role playing game wow. server. Um, played like two games, two or three games with people there. Like the first game I played was 
Alo and one of her other friends. Um, and I got on really well with them. And then we all sort of went our separate ways at the end. And then I was sort of keeping an eye out for if either of them were playing a game again. Because I was like, oh, they were cool. I should try and hang out with them. Um, and ended up like, yeah, playing another game with them and like becoming friends. And then like two weeks later, uh, Alo moved in with me. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, because so we met five friends at the table and both also listened to More Civilized. And we like watched Clone Wars together and like listened to the episodes as we were watching it and that kind of thing. So we've both got a lot of Star Wars up there. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know that I. Yeah, I don't know that I knew this. Like that. You, <laughs> that is wild to me. I because th I think I met Alo right before I joined Nick's Discord server. Mm -hmm. So I think it could. It might have just never come up because. Yeah, it's just like I'd, oh, you know, like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it wasn't something new, I so it's just like, oh yeah, yeah that's yeah. always been the case. That's always been, the, yeah. They, like she, she moved in with me. Um, yeah, I think about this about the same time that I started. Um, well, no, because mm, I don't think I would have spent all that time fucking around with setting up a Minecraft server. No, because she moved in like a month into the pandemic. Yeah, no, I must have... No, yeah, because I was fucking around with the Minecraft server while she was living with me. Because I briefly got her... Yeah, that, I mean, that was... Yeah, she that built, was she built the lighthouse. The... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think, yeah, she stuff. she moved in... Yeah, so she moved in right at the start of the pandemic. Um, but yeah, so we've been watching Rebels with our other housemate, Connor. Um, and occasionally, one of us will be like, Oh, that's this character! He's done this thing, this thing, this thing, and this thing previously. And he's like... Fuck you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck do you know that? Think we can put what these does that mean? petrols into this tank? I don't really see any reason why we can't. Fine, yeah. As long as there's enough airspace. Yeah, there's plenty of airspace. Yeah. Yes, yeah, some in. petrols in there. Oh. He's a little bit sad. Is it because there's only one of him? Yeah, you have to put a certain... Uh, okay, yeah, now they're not sad. Yeah. Okay, that seems good. Everyone's happy. I think they need five. Um, and they only I, have nine I think... slots. Uh, yeah. Uh, I yeah. think Clone Wars is worth watching. Uh... Yeah, there is. I enjoyed it. I think they did make a skip list for Clone Wars. I mean, Clone Wars is really hard yeah, they to make, they a, did skip make a skip list for list. because it's like yeah, it's a Their weird skip list anthology is like, there's show. A... Yeah, uh, it, it's baffling compared to any yeah. other. Don't use their skip list, says like Tosco. I don't remember what's on their skip list. I, I, I did don't, watch I don't the remember. whole show they, before. They, they did, yeah, they did put. They ended up putting almost no episodes on their skip that's, list. That's the I mean, that's that's or like you know all the episodes. <laughs> they yeah. were like, you do uh, have to watch almost all of it. Um, <laughs> but um, they also haven't watched the last. I, season. Uh, yeah, they haven't watched the last season yet. Um, uh, which is is I mean I I am glad they haven't. Uh, yeah, I think watching I, it I after Rebels can't. is the right. I'm like, oh my god, it's gonna be so wild when they get there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh. I really enjoyed watching Clone Wars and listening to More Civilized at the same time. I think listening to More Civilized increased my enjoyment. Oh of, um, yeah, that makes Clone sense Wars. for sure. I probably wouldn't bother watching Clone Wars without listening to More Civilized. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I watched it like. Did I watch it? It was before. It was not that long before AMCA started. I watched through it, mm. uh, and it was like a lot of just putting stuff on in the background while I was doing other mm. stuff. Because it's like, yeah, a lot of those episodes. I mean, it's it's a children's show. Like, yeah, it, it is a children's show, and you have to watch it knowing that you're going like, to watch a children's show. Yeah, it's quite good if you want to get high and watch something that you don't need to think about very much. <laughs> Do they still make Clone Wars? No, it's it's been done no. for. I mean, it was mostly done a long time ago, uh, and then they came back and did a, a revival season, 
you know, in the way mm. that other shows have done uh, in... Yeah, they made, like, one last A few years season. ago. Yeah. Yeah. That, that actually, like... Yeah, they made, like, most of Clone Wars, and then they made Rebels, and then they mm -hmm. made the final season of Clone Wars. Right, and then, they're, then they made Bad Batch as, like, the show that... Yeah. The final season of Clone Wars immediately went into. Um... Rebels is a lot better than Clone Wars. Yes. I mean, Rebels is a cohesive single thing <laughs> like there is a yeah. main cast in rebels and there is a sequ sequential plot of yeah events. there's there's been far fewer episodes grow. where we've sat there going what the fuck is happening whereas i mean because like one of the very popular things with clone wars which i'm glad that amca do not do is is to watch like Clone Wars in quote unquote chronological order mm. uh, because it is completely out of order in terms of like when yeah. these episodes take place. I don't think you should do that uh, because it would be baffling. Uh, mm. But it is very strange still to watch the show as it aired, like in yeah. just completely jumping around it's, between characters. Yeah, and time, it is also baffling to watch it. In the right, world that it ends. right, but at least this is the way that it was meant to be watched, yeah. and not like a different baffling way to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know if I'd have been able to really follow the time jumps. It also doesn't really to matter. More it yeah, it doesn't really matter. Well, I I thing. don't think I understand the chronology of what happens in Clone it, Wars. It but... can't matter. Like it's all just like, well, it's between episode two and three, and that's really all that matters. And like, yeah. nothing can change between those two uh, yeah. off screen. You know, like like it's all like, oh, well, this is off screen, and therefore no character development can happen, mm. and no like the plot developments that can happen are just stuff that's already in the movie. So like, it doesn't. Oh, uh, we were it just we were watching. Matter. We were watching uh, Rebels, and two characters met each other, and I was like, oh yeah, whatever, they're just gonna like fight a bit, and then they're both gonna get away, because like, nothing can actually happen. And then one of them fucking killed the other one, and I was like, holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> You're allowed to I was do like, that? I thought that guy didn't- yeah. I thought that guy died at a different point in time! <laughs> Uh, characters are, was, like, allowed like, to have endings? Uh, yeah, uh, like, fully, like, quite a big character died, and I was uh -huh. like, oh, yeah, it was wild. I did watch, I did watch the Obi-Wan Kenobi show as well, yeah. Oh my god. That show's dire. That, that's bad. Yeah, it's bad. It's not a good <laughs> TV show. It's kind watch. of shockingly bad. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I guess do like the bit where he not... steals a little bit of meat and folds it up in his pocket. <laughs> like, I don't think it's as shockingly bad to me as the Boba Fett show is. Uh, yeah. The Boba, yeah, the Boba Fett show is wild. But, uh, but it is the still. The Boba Fett show, but it's, it's I maybe feel more like... shockingly bad because you would think Obi Wan would have more like attention paid to it, like more. Yeah. Important. The Boba Fett show <laughs> is like kind of more watchable than obi-wan on a moment to moment basis yeah i mean it's, it's a little it's but slightly more plot, episodic so that helps but the plot uh, makes less sense oh yeah like, <laughs> i think i i cannot God, have, we, have we talked about this before on here i feel i know i've talked about this with people but i don't know if i've uh, i don't i don't know if we've talked about it. we might okay. have but it's like, been it's been a long time. Since I, watched I watched both Boba of them Fett like about show. when they came out, and I don't yeah. really remember them very well. But he the like Boba... becomes a good crime lord, right? So the Boba Fett show is about Boba Fett taking over the role of Jabba the Hutt on Tatooine. Like literally, he he becomes the new crime lord of uh, whatever. Which I always forget which city. I confuse the two uh, different cities on Tatooine because um... there's only two of them. Um, but but he becomes the crime lord of one of these cities. He spends literally like half the show is like oh Building the other criminals in the city don't want to work for you what are you going to do about it because they're just like no and he's like oh shit what do i do they said no uh yeah. and yeah one of the he refuses he, to do any crime as a crime lord yeah he's he doesn't, like i'm just he, he just kind of like... walks around town a lot and the specific yeah thing they do fucking, what blew my mind yeah they do use the word daimyo which is fucking wild but the thing that blew my mind eternally that i always had to bring up is it's like 
episode three or four, like again, like halfway through the show, because it's not the long show. And it ends, you know, where he's talking to his number two, who has been his, because he doesn't have a lot of people. Like he sort of stumbles into hiring people over yeah. the course of the show a few times. Some teenagers. But like, he really, yeah, the fucking teenagers who are great, honestly. Um, <laughs> so, but he's talking to his number two, uh, which is um, uh, Ming Na Wen, right? Uh, who's from like mm. the previous stuff. Like she's from the Mandalorian and stuff. Like they, they already had established race. So. And he's like, you know, what am I going to do? These criminals aren't going to like. They're not, you know, basically agreeing to just do what I say. And she says to him, literally, she's like, hey, you have a lot of money, right, from your years as a bounty hunter? And he's like, yeah, and? And she's like, well, money could be used to hire people to <laughs> enforce <laughs> your orders. You know, like bounty hunters do, where they take money and they go do violence for people. He's yeah. like, literally, like his mind is blown by this. He's like, oh, <laughs> money you're... can be exchanged for goods <laughs> yeah. and services. Like... Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's that. It is that. Like, literally, that is what she says. Is saying to him is, is money can be exchanged for goods and services, which is amazing enough on its own. But the fact that it's like this is literally what he did. Like he was the guy on the other side of this. He, he was, was the goods the and guy. services. <laughs> yeah, he was the guy who took money to do the things he wants someone to do. And and he's like, I just... if only there was a way to hire someone. He literally to does kill like yeah, like if only I could me. get have people ever, to do have this. Have we ever found a way to I, kill I wish people I could... when I've got money? Yeah, I wish <laughs> I could pull up the scene and play the audio for people because it's just. Yeah. I, I don't think you can comprehend how directly this is true. Like, like it just... I assume if you're listening to the description and you haven't seen it, you have to assume we're exaggerating to a degree. And, and it <laughs> no, is no. He is sat on a throne in this massive empty room. <laughs> Right? Like, that's where they have this conversation. Yeah, most, yeah, most of the show is him, like, sitting on the throne or walking around town by himself. Yeah. Trying to look, like, tough. And, like... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, and, and I mean, the other half of the show is flashbacks to like just horrible yeah. colonial shit. Uh, yeah, like, just, like, they, they, they do wolves. they do dances uh, with wolves. Yeah, dances with sand people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how did Boba uh, Fett survive um, the Sarlacc? Uh, he he escaped and was taken in by the sand people and learned to become one of them. Yeah, uh, and, and it's it's as dire as you would think it would be. Uh, <laughs> You know, I think we can solve the problem of not knowing what game to play next by just playing five seconds of this and then pausing it for ten minutes while we talk about <laughs> something else. <laughs> like, <laughs> how many fucking hours have we spent playing this this oh. specific level? <laughs> I think if you count it, like, what percentage of the stream is just us talking with the game paused, it would be over 50%. Uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna. Uh... <laughs> I feel like this is more of a podcast than a. <laughs> it's an aquarium themed podcast. Who are the belligerents in the Clone Wars? Francis, are, 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 have you seen the Star Wars prequels? <laughs> Francis, do you, do you know what the Clone Wars are? <laughs> Yeah, and Yoda is fighting against the <laughs> uh, Well, Yoda doesn't know that he's fighting against Palpatine. Palpatine is fucking with Yoda. Yeah, Palpatine's technically on Yoda's side, officially. Hmm. Um, <laughs> it's the the separatists are, are the other side of the Clone Wars. Um, I guess nominally led by Dooku. Yes, Dooku um, is is the leader of the separatists. Yes, and but but also secretly Palpatine is Dooku's Sith boss. Yes. That yeah, I mean that is true. Uh, 
Although you said yes, like it wasn't true. <laughs> no, no. It, so it is true. One of the things that I think it is unfortunate that Clone Wars did not pick up is the scene at the end of Episode Two when Obi. I'm sorry, God, I can't believe I'm doing this, but the scene at the end of Episode Two <laughs> where Obi Wan confronts Dooku, and Dooku's mm. like, "Hey, buddy, there is a Sith Lord who is running the Republic." <laughs> Yeah. And I want your help. Like, come help me. We have to stop him. <laughs> like, he is yeah. plotting to destroy the Jedi. Dooku just tells him this. And yeah. Obi-Wan's like, no, you're trying to trick me because you're an evil person. And, like... And then, and then we get all of the Clone Wars Then they have series. a big fight. Right, and then, yeah, the movie ends. Like, they, they run away from Dooku. Uh, mm. like Yoda shows up and fights Dooku for a while in a, in a yeah. terrible CGI fight and they leave and at the start yeah, of episode 3 uh, you know Dooku is immediately killed off at the start like he never mm. gets a chance like and it it was like I, I was really like what is Dooku's game in saying that to Obi-Wan I and that mm. never comes up in the in the Clone Wars TV show, and I was like, because it feels like I mean, because all Sith, you know, the whole thing about the Sith, right? Is they're always plotting to kill their masters. They're always plotting yeah. to, like, they're not loyal. They, they are yeah. like loyalty is a you know is a bad thing to them. They all know this, so it's like I guess the yeah. conventional understanding is just like you know that's just Dooku trying to get a new apprentice so that he can yeah. then overthrow Palpatine. Dooku wants to be number one. But it's so much more interesting if it's like, no, Dooku did figure this out. And then, like, mm. has basically, like, he's doing the, what's the thing they had, they talk about from the comics? Or is it a comic? No, it's a book. The, the thing that Quinlan Voss does, they talk about MCA. I've not actually read the thing, whatever thing it is. But, like, yeah. goes undercover as a Sith to try yeah. and, like, it's like, is that what Dooku did? And then, like, he... I, I mean, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. None of it makes... Like, I don't think there's a way in which it makes sense, I guess, for me. No. But it seems so much more interesting if Dooku is actually, like, trying to, like, stop Palpatine in some way. And he just, like, yeah. can't see the way to do it. I think I think the thing that makes the most sense is Dooku... Is if Dooku's like, I can get Obi-Wan on side. Me and Obi-Wan between us can take Palpatine. Right. And then I'm in charge of the Separatists, and I just saved the Republic from the evil Sith Emperor, and I'm the boss of everything, and everyone loves me. Right. I think that... Right. I, I mean, yeah, like, I don't think... Uh, you know, it's like, it's again the question of, like, is there a distinction between the Sith and, and a Dark Jedi? Uh, mm. And, like... Because I don't think Dooku, Dooku is, wants to well, bring... Well, because Obi-Wan doesn't... Because Dooku mostly goes by Dooku. He has a Sith name. He does. He's, <laughs> he's Darth Tyrannus. He's... <laughs> he's Darth Tyrannus, but he doesn't get called that very often. So uh -huh. it feels like he's not really bought in on the Sith thing. Uh-huh. Or well, is it also... just like he doesn't want to use that <sighs> publicly because like... Well, they it, can't have him use that not... publicly as part of the thing. Like, yeah, this is because a, this like is, this he's, is the he's being the like Clone Wars, because when Obi Wan in Episode Two, when Obi Wan goes to Kamino, mm. and he talks to the uh, uh, hello Ardvark, I'm sorry that you're coming into this. Um, when when Obi Wan talks <laughs> to the to our Kaminoans, Star Wars podcast, uh, you know when Obi Wan talks to the Kaminoans, they say, "Oh, the Clone Army was ordered by by Darth he, oh, Sifo Diaz. Oh, yeah, 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 and say Sifo Diaz. But then, yeah, when when Obi Wan talks to Jango Fett, Jango Fett, because because uh, Obi Wan asks Jango Fett about Sifo Diaz, he's like, I don't know who that is. I was hired by a man named Tyrannus. And mm. then Obi Wan does not follow this up in the entire Clone Wars about like, hey, even, who is Tyrannus? Even when, even when fives. Has I mean, the whole thing in his head, and also that in episode two, Obi -Wan literally that isn't same like, movie. Oh yeah, that that reminds me. In that same movie, in episode thing. two, Jango Fett then leaves Kamino, uh, because Obi Wan 
follows him, like, you know, plants a bug on his ship, right? Follows him from mm. Camino to Geonosis, where the Separatist leaders are meeting, and Jango Fett is going to work for Dooku. Yeah. And at no p- and uh... then Jango Fett gets killed there on Geonosis, because Mace Windu cuts his head off. Uh, but at no point does Obi-Wan go, you know, that's really weird that he went from this contract on Camino for us... To then working for the Jedi, <laughs> uh, for Dooku directly, and he said he didn't know who Sifo Dyas was. He talked about this guy named Tyrannus. I don't know who that is. Oh, well. Like, Obi-Wan, yeah, just is like, ah! Yeah, he yeah, finds anyway. out eventually in a Clone Wars, like, they do figure this out, sort of, but they still don't put it together. But, like, yeah. wait. If the clones were ordered by the same people who are running the Separatists, Maybe we Just, shouldn't use I mean, to be honest, way. in episode 3, they don't seem to put it together. I don't know that they yeah. figure it out. I, when I, I remember when I rewatched those movies, it was when AMC I was covering them, and I was like, I don't know that the Jedi know what happened at the end. Like, they know yeah. Palpatine was a Sith, and that's what they focus in on. I don't know that they ever understand that Palpatine ran the Separatists. <laughs> Like, yeah, I it didn't doesn't, know they that. don't discuss it. They're just like, oh my god, the 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 chancellor is a the Sith. Is a they s- don't yeah. go. Wait, the Sith are running the Separatists. What does that mean that Palpatine is a Sith? No one ever says that. Yeah, <laughs> the Jedi are dumb as shit. I mean, They're we know so. This. I know, but <laughs> hello, Rosa. I'm giving you a pet. Uh, they're also dead by that point i mean but like literally in the the yeah i mean i like i get the explanation is like they find out palpatine is a sith and they immediately go to try to arrest him slash Mm. kill him i mean they say they're gonna arrest him i don't know that there's any (laughs) that is an alternate (laughs) scenario that i think is very funny is what if palpatine just (laughs) surrenders to them and is like, what if oh, he got I can't... arrested? Yeah, like, what if he's just like, I'm just a helpless chancellor. I I can't do anything against the Jedi. The Jedi have taken me into custody and have oh, and seized control of the government. Like they have subverted democracy. <laughs> like like what? It would have like it would be so funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I but I, I I think the reality is is Mace Windu was prepared to just fucking execute Palpatine if that happened. Like he wasn't actually going to think Palpatine. <laughs> did you did you did you say Mace Windu? No, I I mean I hope. I not. think <laughs> it really sounded like Mace Windu. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I I think <laughs> Mace Windu fully knew there was no way that they could let Palpatine live at that point. Uh, yeah. and I think Palpatine knows it, but uh, anyway. Todd <sighs> Frampus, I... <laughs> uh, sorry, I was I was actually sighing at the uh, the good thing they cloned Palpatine from a minute ago. I was uh, laughing at Mace Window and Axel. Yeah. Hi, Coyote. Yeah, when does he drink a cerveza? Cerveza crystal. Is that an American thing? No. Oh, yeah. You're not. You're not uh, tuned in to these things. Oh. Uh. Can somebody? <laughs> I don't even know. Like, where? Where could you? Okay. I, I guess I can I can try to explain this. Uh, what? Is this an internet thing? This is an internet... I mean, sort of. This is a thing Frampus, that... Frampus, I'm not online. Yeah, this is a thing that people discovered recently that has been around... Like, Coyote knew about it uh, forever and just never brought it up. So, in Chile, in the, like... Mm. W- when was this, Coyote? This is, like, the 90s? Uh... When they aired the Star Wars films, they mm. made some special. This is 2003. Okay, thank you. They See made some bit. special advertisements uh, for a local. I mean, not local, like, but like a, a Chilean beer called Cerveza Crystal that is like 
intercut and shot such that it smoothly like a shot from the Star Wars original Star Wars films smoothly goes into um like oh god you need to see one but basically it'll okay, go into a so shot a of of a like you know what is implied to be like a Luke Skywalker's hand pulling out a can of this beer <laughs> like or a bottle uh Oh yeah, that makes uh, sense, Coyote. Right, a marathon for the releases of the prequels. That that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, please, yeah, Crystal please correct me if I am getting uh, what I'm getting wrong. But but the, this is the broadly the thing that happened, uh, and they were rediscovered by the internet recently, uh, and they're fucking incredible. Uh, they're they're wild. Uh, Mary has linked a. Okay, a Luke, Luke, and Luke and Obi Wan are talking. Uh huh. Which reminds me, he's getting up. I've got something here for you. <laughs> he's got some Mesa Crystal. <laughs> yeah. So there's a whole series of these. <laughs> would, like lead into the commercial breaks, I guess. The Mesa uh, Crystal. <laughs> yeah, and they're all just that. And, uh, okay, yeah, they're this, on a this ship. Han Solo's destroyed there. the internet uh, for uh, you know a few days in the way that these things. Luke's are. learning to be a Jedi. Oh, someone's reaching into a pocket. <laughs> George Lucas sued them. This wasn't this what? wasn't sanctioned. How, why did this he was sue just. Them? Was this what? unsanctioned? Even if it was, I don't think there's anything in those advertisements that is like... Like, it's it's like a shot of a guy's, you know, hand in a sleeve. Like, they're not actually... But they're using clips from the film. Well, because they were airing. I mean, the, the movies were presumably... Con like, they did... I assume that the oh, they had so the Oh, this was like this was like when the film was on TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were showing and the it film would cut on to TV. The adverts. Yes, this was like the oh, the that's going even into funnier. the commercial break. Yes. Uh, that's so funny. Imagine that you're right. watching Yes, Star that's because Coyote did it. <laughs> this is like, he was like, this is, my, this is how I saw Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I guess I could see the, the argument. The summoning it, a beer is really yes, funny. The Palpatine one is my favorite. It's really good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess I could see that, like, even without actually directly using anything, any symbols or stuff, that obviously it, it is, it is, I mean, obviously it's intended to be framed as if it, it cuts smoothly into the movie. Uh... That's so funny. I, I mean, this is 2004. When is Yoda's appearance at the, uh, the MTV Awards? Because I feel like at that point, they don't have a leg to stand on. I mean, I, I, obviously they still do legally, but like, you know, fuck off. Yeah. Uh, and, and if people don't know about Yoda's appearance at the MTV Awards, um, I well, don't. fortunate. Uh, well, there's like a... I mean that's that's all that's all it is. I don't know what to say about it beyond that. Is there there was there's a clip from the MTV Awards of of Yoda showing up to like present an award and he's like <laughs> hovering on like a uh you know it, it's it's some real like I'm gonna drop uh, on this TV show you did. Yeah, I mean it, it it's yes basically <laughs> like and, but it's you know it's like. Oh, what you know, rad performance! This you know, it, it is you know, uh, in that it is even mm. more. <laughs> it is doing the like, oh yeah, this is so cool. Uh, it's hip. Uh, like, how, what if what if how Extremely do you do fellow sick kids? Your performance was. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. 
Was it an unsanctioned? No, that wasn't sanctioned, Yoda. That, that's what I mean. It's like, uh... Well, worth it, Coyote. I mean, yeah, Cheshire, but... I... <laughs> there are beer ads in Star Wars? Like, I, you know, like, I absolutely agree in principle. <laughs> yeah, we do product placement. We do, like, uh, you know, uh, it, it's not a... It is not a children's uh, media in this... I mean, I'm, you know, it's like, sure, Star Wars is children's movies, I guess. Um... I think Star Wars is kind of children's movies, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it is, but like in a different, you know. It's not Blue Peter. Right. I mean, you know, we uh, most of our children. I don't. I don't know what the US equivalent of Blue like Peter is. Are just like toy selling factories, right? You know, Transformers mm. and shit. So. Uh... <laughs> Anakin shouldn't have murdered the younglings. Well. Uh, our prestige is getting up there, but we do still need some more. <laughs> we have not made much progress. Look, we've, we've <laughs> jumped up a few hundred prestige. <laughs> uh... Surely we'll finish this level today. Oh, it's going up quite quickly now. Now that it's not paused. Well, it's probably a talk or something. <laughs> oh, you know, did we get another, um, like, sign thing? Did we get, we got that, right? Where are those? Up a little bit. You you scrolled past it. I did. You are. Well, that one. Okay, I thought we got we've only one. got a showcase poster. I think. Oh, is, it's is it on the is on, it on the, the next, next level, rank? right? Uh, yeah, we get family poster on the shit, next rank. It is. Bottom okay. left. Damn. Okay. Wait. What is? Okay. <gasps> Our prestige is going down. Yeah, I mean it. It fluctuates. Cerveza Cristal! Okay. Um, have they used Dark Darth Maul since Wars. he appeared in Solo? Like, in terms of newer stuff than Solo? Oh, newer no, stuff than Solo. Because he has a basically a complete story. Yeah. He does have an actual death. Uh, in... in earlier earlier stuff produced that takes place later in the timeline mm. we know when he dies yes we know much of his most of what he was doing across the entire timeline yeah the scorpion legs are canon from yes, they're those in Clone are, Wars. he doesn't have them for very long but yes yeah sadly he doesn't uh Spider Maul is cool. But then he gets like different robot legs that are also pretty cool. Yeah. I can't. Oh, right. What I like I Darth Maul. I think he's a fun character. Uh, we need to make sure once we train him in a new skill to, yeah, put feeding a high priority. What would he be good <sighs> at? Clean. All of it, apparently. This guy's a fucking genius. Fucking hell. <laughs> he can do everything. Probably fixing is probably the highest priority. I do think the mall appearance in Solo's not a very good movie, but the mall appearance is extremely funny. Oh, they're having babies. Yeah, the, the spider legs are when he's like. Uh, the weird yeah, mad monster yeah. underground and then he gets normal legs or more yeah. normal legs and becomes more normal the like the consistency and degree to which it is true in Star Wars that the less human parts your body has the less human you are mm -hmm. is like 
wild. It is just directly true in every case. There's not any exceptions to it, really, right? I mean, I, you know, there's instances of people overcoming it, like Luke and his mm. uh, his robot hand. Um, mm. But yeah, it's it's always framed like it is always associated with uh, uh, with that. Yeah, it, it's never. Yeah, uh... like I mean, I'm sh I, you know, obviously across the broad spectrum of Star Wars media. Uh, yeah, there will be I'm some sh counter right. examples, but generally it is like. Right. Because yeah, it's like I guess the there's like in Star Wars. you know, in Coder Two, there's a there's a party member who is has a robot arm and like mm. he's just a guy, you know, he, he's not. I don't. Hey, maybe even there, I guess I don't really think it's associated with the robot arm, but I guess it might be. God, there is a evil robot in Kotor. Well, yeah, of course. I like I I do like Kotor. Yeah. <laughs> I love my good and evil robots. <laughs> General Grievous oh, is a cyborg. Yeah, General Grievous General is Grievous a is... cyborg and not a yeah. robot, which is wild. And uh, he, like, hated cyborgs and didn't want to be one and then got turned into one. He never wanted this. He never he asked for it. this, uh, rather. Um, but... Palpatine did it to him? I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember what the actual story is. I was just... I mean, I remember, yeah, like, he hates Jedi, and then he gets... Because, like, Jedi, like... He's... Yeah, his Jedi, people, like... like... <laughs> yeah, did something fucked up on his planet or yeah. something, like... And then he's like, I'm gonna kill the Jedi, and then he gets turned into a cyborg, and then he's like... Aah. Have you seen the, uh... uh the... Kennedy Tarkovsky, Tar Tarkovsky, I always forget which, uh, but the, the Clone Wars. Cartoons. I know the ones you, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cause the, They're the good. whole, yeah, the, the final sequence, which is the, uh, you know, not canon anymore, but the, uh, it is what's intended as like the, it, it is the lead up to the start of episode three. And so it is, it is Grievous's mm. attack on Coruscant. Uh, and this whole sequence that is, it is done as a slasher movie of mm. um, the Jedi who are escorting Palpatine, you know, to safety. Uh, and they're getting mm. picked off one by one by Grievous. Yeah. Uh, and I don't is... remember it very well, but I'm, I remember like little flashes of some of the episodes, so I'm pretty sure I've seen it. Yeah, this is the, that's really the only part of it that stuck with me because it's like, it is the only time Grievous has ever seemed actually scary, uh, and it's mm. really good. Like it is just he is a slasher. Oh, villain. he's like <laughs> scuttling just... around and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. He's or like, no, uh, you no, know, I'm, like, I'm think, like I think I'm thinking of a Clone Wars episode actually. Okay, but yeah, it is a thing where he's like, um, um, you know, they're like escorting Palpatine down through like. Basically through like the underground tunnels to the spaceport or whatever from the, yeah. the Capitol building or something, and then like you know uh, people are getting grabbed from like you know getting pulled off screen, and then you know somebody turns mm. around and somebody's gone, and, and it's like these are Jedi, like they're Jedi Council members, and he's just yeah <laughs> wrecking them. Yeah. Um, yeah, I should. Really the... thank you, Alta. So yeah, I know one of them. Yeah, I know one of them's the rush. You know the. The stalkers director, and then one of them's the, the cartoon guy. And I always forget which one, uh, which name is which. Um, yeah. And I then, and then at the end of it, I... Mace Windu uh, crushes his heart, uh, mm. which is supposed to be the explanation for uh, why he's much weaker in Episode Three, and also why he's coughing the whole time. Which oh, yeah. I did always think was hilarious. Where I was like, "Why is the robot have a cold? Like, what is going on?" <laughs> like, it's like, ah, oh, Beast Windu gave him a heart attack. Yeah, a permanent heart attack, and that's why he's coughing all the time. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't attack symptom. Is that? Yeah, I'm like, I don't know if this still makes sense, but it is very funny as an explanation. Yeah. <laughs> also, why? Because he's such a like chump in Episode Three. Uh, yeah. 
even though I do love him in episode three, still I, th I think he's very <laughs> he found fun. His shot of void. Uh, yeah, he found his shatter point. <laughs> We were explaining shatter points to Connor the other day, and he was looking at us like, "What the fuck are you two talking about?" <laughs> so funny. Um, shatter points is Mace Windu's special force power where he finds the like weak point in a situation or person using the force and then he gets you. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. What now, you may ask, of... what does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> Shatter point. What is your opinion on Terrace Cassie? Terrace Cassie? The, oh, the martial art the that masters lets... with Terrace Cassie? It... Oh, that lets God. you be good enough to like fight against a Jedi, right? Uh, yeah? I, I, yeah it's, it's a the, martial it's art a, in Star a, Wars. That's basically all I know about it. Uh, it's a martial art that lets you... It lets you, like, fight against a Jedi by learning it. <laughs> it's too hard to finish. Is there a Finland in Star Wars? There's a lot of words in Star Wars. I gotta tell you. It, Tatooine is just the name of a place in Tunisia where they shot Tatooine. <laughs> If you didn't know that, like, that's literally just the name of the location. That's bizarre. It's spelled differently, but, like, that's that. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to the planet Florida. Yeah, it's a lot. Uh... Uh... Okay, so we could put... Space Finland. Oh. I'm a really weird temperature. You're a really weird temperature. Yeah. Like, my legs are warm. But my upper half is kind of cold. But when I put on a jumper, then I become too warm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I see. Niamos? Why are you saying Niamos, Octasco? That's Miami. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. What? Mary was. Another world of. Is this the Dark Crystal movie poster? So this a crystal. Okay, good. That's like I'm not entirely sure, but I assume that's what it is. Okay, God, I was trying to do math. Uh. Okay, 20, 20, uh, 30, that's 70, uh, 32, uh, that's 102, plus a crab, uh, is like 111, uh, those should all be able to go together, no, they can't, never mind, fuck, uh, these can go together, um, I guess these guys can technically go together too. Uh, they will eat yeah. animal size one to eight. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that would be another land tank, though. Do they all want the same temperature? Oh, they want air cooling as well. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's why these guys can't yeah. go in because they're super chilled. Okay, the other yeah, guys yeah. could all be in a regular chilled tank. Um. <laughs> so. Okay. What did I say? A hundred and. Uh, 11 the difference between these guys is an extra 9 so 120 for 1 do you need multiple of these no mm, no you're allowed to just have one otter on its own that doesn't seem super fair but no I like that
Uh, is Obi Wan a Force ghost during the entirety of A New Hope since he disappears when he gets killed? No, but that would be. I mean. It's an idea, but no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why does he disappear when he gets killed is the question, because uh, other people don't do that, even if they're going to become a Force mm. ghost. Uh, and the answer is because Lucas thought it was cool. It's because the midichlorians in Yeah, he his ascends blood... bodily into the Force. I think that is actually <laughs> basically true. Yeah. <laughs> Virgin Space Mary. <laughs> Like, he doesn't die. He just, like, voluntarily evaporates himself. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. So, if we were to build a polar dome... Yeah. We would need a medium polar dome. Oh, God. I don't know if we have... I mean, we could fit that somewhere. I just have to... Yeah, we can shuffle shit. stuff around a bit. We've got quite a big open space um, near our first polar dome. Yeah. Why could I not just set this down? Okay. That's annoying. So this I could Yeah, what if we... Yeah, I reckon stick it there. <laughs> it's just right there. Yep. That seems fine. Uh, you just need a little space at the tank at the back to feed them. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. I can't actually move right now. Uh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um I feel like you have a set amount of midichlorians, but maybe if you train really hard, like the midichlorians are also training at the same time and their tiny little midichlorian muscles get stronger. Do you know how Anakin was conceived in Legends? Uh, is this Palpatine shit or is this different from Palpatine shit? Darth Plague. Yes. Oh right, right. I'm sorry. You're that is correct. I did know that. I just forgot. It's uh. Yeah. Yes. Of course. He. he I is... don't think I it's know. It's not this. a story the Jedi would tell you. Darth Plagueis, the wise. Plagueis. Is messing around resurrecting someone and the force reacts by creating Anakin. Oh, so this isn't a uh, like experiment thing. It's it's the force What? What is that? Plagius is doing some dark side shit and then the force is like Oh, let me make the most dark sided guy that's ever existed to counteract this. Your dad is the force, but the doctor at the fertility clinic is Darth Plagueis. Yep. So this ugly doll. I'm glad we've introduced you to this. <laughs> the um my my kind of only source of memes is ones that Matt thinks are funny enough to text to me directly. Um, so it's a real, like, curated feed. Uh-huh. 
please consider Skeksis chugging beer with their big, big bird beaks. I cannot bring Skeksis to mind. Oh, uh, Dark, Dark Crystal. Crystal. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They're the... Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. That's, that's my... That's Skeksis to me. <laughs> it, it was kind of Minecraft villager. <laughs> To Minecraft villagers? I didn't spend enough time in villages. I found the villagers in Minecraft so uncomfortable, I just didn't want to ever see them. They go, hmm. Oh, that ha. does sound vaguely familiar. Hmm. Ha. Hmm. Ha. Hmm. <laughs> the novelization. How is the novelization of the Dark Crystal? Uh... <laughs> I mean, sometimes you're in your middle school library, and that's the book that they've got. They open the box in seven, and it's a oh boy! Story. Oh boy! Have they done it for? Um, I don't know about that. Um. Fucking cult fiction. Oh, the the suitcase. Yeah. Oh my god! Look at. <laughs> yes. That's so I big. I did not. I don't know if I've seen so that much before. <laughs> That's... That's nearly That's as big. No wonder they can only fit like five of those things in those machines. Yeah, but also then they really shouldn't get hungry that much. Like, yeah, that's enough to feed everyone in the aquarium. <laughs> what the fuck? That's a plush fish. Yeah, we've got a plush fish um, a gift shop, and people buy plush fish in the plush fish. So this a crystal. Okay, we're gonna have to, you know, move stuff around here, obviously, but, like, I think this works as a layout-ish. Probably move this back another... Mm. here. Okay, it's not gonna let me do that at the moment, but... It's still not gonna let me. There we go. Morpheus lets Neo choose between the blue pill or a tiny service of this. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Well, maybe capitalism's good, actually. Well, they did, uh, you know, try to prevent this. Or, uh, stop it, I guess, from ever happening again. If you move the sponges to the other side of the toilet, you could push that wall out by one. And then you can just like move all that food all the way back and just have the wall go along there, yeah. No problem. Yeah, I think on previous years I've been vaguely aware that daylight savings happened in America. Um, whereas, whereas this year, usually, because 
Because I'm no longer online. Yeah. I, I didn't have an opportunity to find out that Daylight Savings has happened in America. There's a commercial going around for a cement company that features 9-11, but the plane bounces off the building. Holy Is that shit. in the US? That seems like you wouldn't be allowed to do that in the US. And it also seems like people wouldn't buy your cement because <laughs> yeah, I, don't I get the it, impression I don't know if anything that people that stopped you, but like it's all to get you some bad press. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> It, like, it doesn't seem like it would be an effective way to advertise to people in the US. Like, my <laughs> understanding is that it's kind of a touchy subject. People in the US are babies. <laughs> as, as we know. Uh... So this <sighs> what if Cerveza Cristal did a 9-11 advert? Uh, more power How much food them. do we need to fit in there? Yeah, that's, that's uh, You know, a lot. <laughs> do you not want to move it, like, one out? Uh, you know, maybe. We're, we're finding out. Yeah, I think that's gonna work better. That we're we're fucking around. Yeah. <sighs> You've still got a little wall along the um the side of the big polar dome as well. That's not necessary. Uh, yeah, that's true. <sighs> You know what? Maybe we will put one of these here. In the middle. Ooh, a little center court. I like that. You could put the bin behind the OJ. Oh, or you could have two sofas back there. That's what With I a was... little decoration in between them! A lantern! Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, you're gonna get rid of that one little bit of wall. And then, like, that other little bit. And the bit that's in the middle of your, um, back room. Yeah. I knew I had some more. Somewhere. <sighs> Is this shit all baby come over here? I want to edit a Cerveza Crystal in a Star Wars and then just watch the movie with my friends without telling anyone beforehand. I think you should do that, Frampus. This is what I strongly saying. encourage we need that. The Cerveza Crystal Cut. Yeah, make the Cerveza Crystal Cut. Email it to me. all okay we we'll probably nice. need some more shit back here yeah otherwise people will be like holy shit I'm three meters away from orange juice I'm dying mm -hmm. okay uh, that's pretty good okay do you want to no. <laughs> pause it briefly well, we don't have anything in our we... dome. That we oh built. no, we don't have anything in there. Okay, I thought maybe we'd um. No, we have not actually no. done that yet. 
So what was going in? These guys were going in there. And then the crabs. Yeah. And I think we might want to put the crabs in. And then... Uh-oh. These guys... There's... Will they... Okay. No, they don't need... These guys will... Like, the... the it shouldn't... I think we need to wait on the turbot. They... One to... Oh, wait, no. They're already fine. Because the they're crabs. one to ten. Yeah, no, they're fine, because they're armored. Yeah, yeah, they're already ten. I think there was th maybe these guys. No, not these guys. Oh, these guys, when they grow. But yeah. they grow so at the same so they grow time. after six days. Yeah, so they should be fine as well. Yeah, they should be fine. Do you want to give it a day just in case? Yeah, that's probably oh, no. a good idea. Uh, these guys, 11. Okay, I guess we can wait a day on these two. Yeah. Um. Mm -mm. Okay, so what all do we need in here? Of course we need our thingy. Pump. Pump up the We jam. are, like, kind of running out of... Yeah, but we're so close. Right, we're not really running out of space, but, like, it's just getting slightly constrained. Uh, yeah. That chill it. Is it uh, chill it? Not quite. Too much or too little? Yeah. Good. It's a correct Normal amount. temperature. We need to make the air chilly as well. Remember those don't attach to a pump. Yeah. Is that? Wow. They only need 60% water quality with those current uh, things. Yeah, those penguins aren't us. Or whatever the, they are. The otters. And yeah, the otters. Otter and uh, two other fish. <laughs> uh, the, oh my god. Oh, this sucks. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh. Build, build, um, build a little tiny pod around it and join up the two. Yeah, just tuck the air conditioning. They if can't. you tuck the air conditioning unit next to your stairs, does it let you join up the two? The two polar domes. They can't. They're one super chilled. Oh well, I guess. The air. Okay. Right. The air. The air should be separate. You're right. Uh, does the compressor even connect to multiple things? No. no. Okay. Well, no, because you can just move the tank towards... Yeah, just move it out from the wall a little bit more. And we can fit it back there, I think. I think it might be easier to just like move. Yeah, or up. just yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfect. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and you don't even need the compressor, right? You can just slip, slap, yeah, slap yeah. the air conditioning units right on there. Yeah, as long as it's good enough. Okay. Then we We're need good. some yeah. plants and some. Couple of little plants. Uh, yeah. One kelp. Oh, okay, we need one more toy. Nice. Clam supplements muscles. Okay, no problem. Oh, this. I was looking for clam. Clam. Muscles. Supplements. So okay. Okay. Uh. Play. Oh no! Uh, what was your thought? 
Where the hell are... Where are zones? How do I look at I zones? Think there's, I think, uh, go to a staff member. And then... Yeah, and... yep, yep. Yep. Oh, yeah, okay. So that just needs to cover... This polar this dome time. and not the other one? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Because it's different I... to the penguins. I think if you just click... Uh, oh, maybe just delete the zone and then make a new one. There's gotta be a way to... I think you can just click and drag, right? On the area where it already is. Okay. But do you need to include the food? Yeah. I wouldn't think so, but... You never know. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, you never I know. think we're There's good no now. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Come on, 4,600. Sorry, I know we need to wrap up. Oh, they had an egg. Another one. Oh no, now we don't have enough plants. Oh, we, oh the egg hatched. Let's make sure. Right, they had eggs. Yeah, it's shooting up. Yeah, people like this. Uh, we had a day pass. It, uh, probably. Oh, so we can wait for the start of the day so that it's. Yeah. I'm not putting them in right before they. Oh yeah, true. And then they go. Oh, we haven't been fed. Oh no, feed me. Okay, so that was. What was going in? Those two at the top, right? There we go. Uh, yeah, these two. Mm. Yes. Correct. Now they need more quality. Yeah. Uh, okay. So cackles, crabs, cockles, cockles. Cockles, yeah. Cackles is what a witch does. Yeah. And crab. Okay. And more quality. Mm. We're so close. We're so close. We've got to finish this level today, surely. <laughs> If only we didn't spend a full hour with the stream post talking about other things. Oh, good night, Artmark. <sighs> Come on. No, it's going back down again! Oh, just... Have our... we got any decorations that we haven't put out yet? Uh, possibly. Yeah. We could put some decorations out. Put out some Aztec blocks. Come on. We're so close. Oh my god, we are. Yes. Yes. We did it! Womp. Fuck oh. you. Fuck you, game. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Okay. Well, next time. Yeah. We've got... Ooh? What the? The ARG... Yeah, the Abyssal Research Skirt. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
You should be able to access the MS-20 needed to bring the final MS species to the surface. Look at that guy! Oh, we should get the family poster, right? Probably. Yeah. But we could also go to Penguin Toy Show. <laughs> we don't need money. Uh, but yeah. Have a large, but we have need a large a compressor that show. can go to tanks. Oh, these, mm. I mean, these are all, uh... These are all pretty good. Yeah, I think we do want the family poster. Yeah. Uh, okay. Research. Turtles. Um, I, I like turtles. I don't have fun. I don't know where we're gonna put turtles. Mm, true. I don't know where what, we're gonna put anything in this. Fit I, I don't know where we're gonna put shit there. in here. Yeah. We can do. We can do. We can just squish everything a bit closer together. The angel shark. Jesus, it's huge. Yeah, we may be not getting an angel shark. But the flame pipe fish is little. Yeah. It's Wait, a is, it a sea, is it a seahorse? Uh, uh, oh yeah, it is a seahorse. Okay. We can so put it can that go in our seahorse tank. Horse tank. We have yeah, two so let's, let's research um, that. But yeah, we have, we have a hot uh, hot water seawater tank, a uh, seahorse tank and a cold water one. So yeah, I can go in the hot water one. All right. Hot water. I believe the word is tropical. Whatever. <laughs> You know, uh, Claire. Good job on feeding. Good job, Claire. The emperors. Ooh. If you only had a big enough polar dome. That's that's right. Okay. Oh, plus okay, plus five hundred. That would help. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe we can get a big polar dome. Okay. Well, we can still uh, save you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, we're not we're not done yet. Uh, I really thought that was going to be the last objective. Eggs. I really did, because isn't there... Okay, I'm going to go back to the... Can I go back to the main menu? I can go to here. Deep freeze. Yeah, this is... There's another level after this. Yeah. I... Wild. Okay, yeah, I thought that was going to be the end of this one. We we're going to the last one next time, but no. We gotta build yeah, another. Yeah, we don't need. To, we don't need to work out what game to play next for a while. Oh my god! Yeah, we still have. A Especially few... if we don't actually play the game while we're streaming. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> it's hard to uh, to make decisions while talking. Yeah. Uh, with this. All right. Well. Thanks everybody for joining us. Thanks everyone for listening to our podcast about Star Wars. Uh huh. That's yeah. Uh, okay. I will be back tomorrow. Um, playing Death Stranding, and then on Sunday, I'm gonna play uh, Tomb Raider Legend. Um, and uh, then I'll be back next Friday with Thief, and we'll be back in two weeks with. Mega Aquarium. Uh, Slash Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I'll give you a KOTOR update. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you going to play KOTOR 2 after you finish KOTOR? Uh, yeah. Why not? Okay. KOTOR 2 is good. Nice. It's, it's wild. Uh, Can't wait. Alright, uh, thanks everybody for hanging out. Uh, you can follow the channel for uh, notifications uh, when I go live. You can also follow the Twitter account, Seawolf underscore streams, for tweets when the stream goes live. Um, you can uh, sub to the channel for emotes. You can follow the YouTube channel if you want to get VODs uh, there instead of on Twitch. They're also on Twitch. Uh, I think that's all I got. So. Thank you. Hope to see you again in the future. Have a good night. Bye.